what is it like working on a uh, post-apocalyptic movie in this time, in the wake of the Bush administration and the war in Iraq and turmoil in the Middle East and all the questions that were really beginning to be asked about what could happen in the future of the world? Post-apocalyptic movies had a bit of a brief, uh, I think, trend because people didn't feel like those questions were being answered. Now, 10, 10 or so years later... They haven't been answered, and we're seeing a lot of the consequence of not answering those questions. And so po- apocalypse feels even more imminent in a, in a lot of ways for some of us. What's it like to sort of make a movie in that, during that feeling? Yeah, I never saw it as apocalypse uh, in, the, in that sense. I saw it more as it reflects how close we feel to the potential for chaos, you know, and I think, uh, you know... Apocalypse may be the wrong word because it implies something, yeah. Yes, I guess it implies, yeah. But but I think you're right in the sense, you know, in America, in Britain, the way things are evolving in the Middle East, there there is a sense that things could change very rapidly on a dime and, and could throw everything we conceive about our lives into jeopardy. I mean, you think about... You know, Syria, it was a very functioning, normal country. And then very quickly, it has, you know, become an absolute zone of chaos. And, um, you know, especially now, as you're saying, kind of in very tumultuous political times, there is that fear of, of you know, something could change and things could, could change very quickly. 